I'm on my way right now to film a quick update with Michael. Uh, you guys know Michael, he's the one with the steam shovel. So right now I'm heading to the Midland Antique Engine Club. That is where the steam shovel is being housed and where Michael has been working on it. So we're gonna get a quick update because right now, coming up on a very busy time in my life, uh, we're working on building our house, um, hunting season is starting, and you know, there's just a lot of other stuff that I need to get done filming and editing, and it's just really hard uh, to be able to do right now. So, filming this intro right now to save a little bit of time as well. But yeah, I think Michael has made a ton of progress, and I think you guys are going to be surprised when we actually get here and I show you what he has accomplished so far. Uh, he's been going to a lot of uh, festivals, I think, too, and showing off his work and talking about the shovel, his interesting history. This video, I probably won't put on publicly on the main channel. This might be a, a Patreon exclusive, so, you know, it's one of the benefits of being a Patreon. You get access to some of this exclusive uh, content that I don't put on the main channel. Like I said, this is just gonna be a, a quick update, not an in-depth one where I go through and uh, fly the drone. I'm actually going down Freeland Road right now, and on my other channel, I know I posted that egret that was on the power line. That egret is still dead up there on that high voltage power line. So, no other birds have got it so far. But like I said, yeah, this might be an exclusive uh, Patreon-only content video, and this is what you guys get for uh, being an exclusive member and, and access to uh, my Patreon account. So I just wanna thank everyone for the support that has been uh, a member for a while now. I think we've had a lot of people that have been um, supporting me for a while, you know, and I really, really appreciate it. And this is just a way that I'm giving back to you guys with some of that exclusive content. So let's go ahead now. The next time you see me, I will be pulling into the association and we will be getting a quick interview with Michael on the steam shovel. That is perfect. Sweetie. I'll wear this now whenever I'm filming with you. <laughs> no, I just gotta find some yes. white glasses. <laughs> yes, although you know, today when I was filming at the Tobacco River in Edenville Dam, Someone did send me a pair, so I wore their new pair and I asked people, you know, do you like the, the white frame sunglasses or do you like this other pair that these other people sent me? So we'll see what they you say. Stick with the white. But right now it's the white. I know a lot of people on the channel say go, stick with the white, so. Well, anyways, yeah. uh, this is last couple of days project is, is getting everything separated so we can get it to sandblast and get some paint because it's got a whole new rust going to it now with it being out of the water. So I've got the rear axle, front axle off, the center section, and I pulled, was able to pull the top off. So we'll get this all loaded up and haul it back to my house in Beaverton. And that way I can kind of bring it in over the winter time. We'll get everything sandblasted up and coat of paint on it and see what, see what iron needs to be done. But it's, after I got the top off, I mean, everything else surprisingly looks really well across here in the beams. Still got zebra mussels packed. <laughs> everywhere if anybody wants some for souvenirs <laughs> <laughs> they'll be selling them in mason jars for 15 dollars a piece yeah this has still got grease on it too the original no grease. that's why i oiled it okay. to uh to help try to get it slid off there yeah i give her a little bit of lube and she come right off so everything came off pretty easily though yeah for for pretty much doing it by myself pulling it yeah. apart and having just a little bit of help getting that left stuff lifted off there it, it actually went really well I know so, you were talking about that these wheels no longer turn and they actually turned when you uh, yeah. took it out of the water the first time so it is sitting here oxidizing and rusting up a little bit so yeah they they spawn they pivoted they turned and everything else and i've been just fighting them trying to get them off there because they won't won't cooperate but soon they will <laughs> i'd say it almost looks you know more accomplishable now that you have it in pieces you can actually see what you have working with than when it was fully assembled so it's definitely looking, I don't, it doesn't look as much like a seam shovel anymore, but you can definitely see what else you have to do. Yeah, I posted some pictures yesterday on what I got done yesterday, and that's a lot of people just, they, it was their comment is, what is it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can so, make yeah. out the four wheels and some gears, but. Fortunately, I had the sign. Yeah. I, 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 could, I tagged the sign in there, so I said, here's here's a, a brief. So hopefully we'll have the, my son is still working on, a, on the internet or the web page. Mm-hmm. 
so I know it's it's kind of looks kind of foolish right now with, but uh, even with his new job that he's got he's trying to get settled in with that and as soon as we get get him up and rolling hopefully we can get that website going and but it's uh until then people can follow on your Facebook page along yeah, with you Facebook and, uh, we can still follow on Facebook at Wixom Lake Steam Shovel and we still got the been to getting emails from people at Wixom Lake Steam Shovel at gmail.com so but that's so looks like you just removed uh, this piece off of those wheels now what do you think is going to be the biggest task the one thing that you're most worried about uh, getting done right now I think well uh, this surface that it rolls on I don't know how well that's going to clean up and where we're at with that and what we're going to have to do to build that up um, the beams on the top half that got to be replaced, like I said before, they're, they're nine inch I beams that are no longer made anymore. So I've got feelers out right now to some demolition companies and stuff like that, that possibly an older building may have something in it to where we can salvage them. You're talking about the beams right here. Yeah. There's, there's two, two beams that run down through here. That the boiler, boiler yeah, sat the boiler on sat down in there. The back. And that was, that, that got rotted out so bad because that was actually the air intake and the ash. Mm -hmm drop down through there so that ash just laid across those beams and it's seen all the heat from the bottom of the boiler yeah. so it just it just rotted out those back that back corner pretty bad but then I found I mean it was it, it's been repaired in that back corner it's been repaired it's been broke here um, there's a couple other things where I found whether it's been kind of hmm. pieced together but even before it was under the water <laughs> yeah when they were using it and it was using it so it was it was used and abused uh, these gears actually look pretty good yet. Not much wear on them, right? Yeah, I think the gears are going to be really good. There's uh, the top gear that went down through here that that went down and, and ran your travel. Uh, that gear had like about a half a dozen teeth broke off of it. So I ended up just cutting a slice in it so I could split it to get it off the shaft. And I'll have a um, pattern made. We'll probably just get one casted up. And... But I'm... Probably the, I think the majority of the work and repair is going to be the boom. I think it got the worst, worst of the wear. Is this a pin with the gear on it go right here in the middle too? Yeah, that, that's actually the shaft. It came the up shaft. through the center and then it drove the drive shaft that which run the, run the back wheels. So it actually didn't look too awful bad. I think once it's cleaned up that it's, you know, will be good enough to swing it. Yeah. At least for show. It's not like we're going to be using it full time to, to make another dam. No. <laughs> Did you see it out there when I was filming, I think two weeks ago before I left on our honeymoon, they actually found the old trusses where they used to have the railroad ties across for... Uh, dumping and loading oh, the wagons. Those? Yep, so that, those are out there. They're still actually sticking up and they said the railroad ties would be across those and they would bring the wagons across and then they could just dump over to make that earthen embankment. So I was like, that was pretty cool that they actually still have that out there and had yeah. a geologist out there looking at those. Yeah, I'm hoping to make one more trip out there to, to do one more look and see if we can find a serial number plate and uh, the couple of caps that I'm missing on the bottom and hope maybe we could find something that would really be nice to find we've already just going from Bob's pictures of what his looks like in mine um, we've already you know he's even said too that this is an earlier version of what his is still hoping to find the serial number plate that would really be great if <laughs> find it. But my my guess is it's probably hanging up in somebody's garage and they have no idea what it is yeah, so, yeah look what I look what we've Grandpa had a long time ago in his shop. Wow. Yeah, so the, the boom back here, I think since we I was out here last, looks like you coated it, right? Yeah, we put some cheap primer on it, and, well, and that's exactly what I had was cheap primer. And it didn't, so everything else is going to be coated with a, we'll get the good stuff out and we'll, we'll get, them, get them coated up. After you sandblast? Yep, after sandblast. But uh, yeah, the, um, as far as I know, this, this carriage here is only gonna need this beam replaced and probably two in the front. And I think, I believe that's about all this is gonna need, which is good. Yeah. 
I know you said you're going to be taking this back to your house, so people won't be able to see it at the Engine Association no, anymore. No, follow it. You know, follow it on the on Facebook, and uh, I'll try to put as much stuff up as possible. I mean, even get you over there this winter or something like that. You can. Yep. I'll definitely still keep following it. We'll just have to go to your house. We'll have to Which... stop at my house and see it. <laughs> yep. Yep. But then so. we can get. But hopefully next year we can start bringing some stuff back, painted, and done. And so you're still on track to finish it in, in nine years, the time that it took nine, me and Jessica yeah, to get married. Line, yeah. <laughs> so you have like uh, eight years left then, eight and a half. Eight, yeah, because your anniversary's <laughs> coming up the 10th. So. Yep. Yeah, it's coming really soon. So, And then over here, is that part of the house that you were starting to make? or No, th those are the actual beams from the house, and they were just on display here. Okay. Which I'll probably end up pulling those things apart and get them put inside. Yeah, I don't think we've seen it since you actually had it somewhat put assembled like that with the wood on it. So you just kind of yeah, did that for the show here. Back in the show for July. I think you might have seen it in July when I had yep. it set up here. Or maybe I didn't have it set up for the show. Yeah. But yeah. But we had a good turnout for the show. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people come over to, to look at it. Uh, a couple surprise people that, you know, that were my dad's friends that, that came, came around that, you know, well, I had to see Moose's project. Uh, one big surprise was a retired uh, engineer from the Badger, the SS Badger, made it across from Lunnington because he wanted to check out the steam engines and see what what they were. So that was pretty cool to come over and you know have him come over and see it. A lot of it was good to have a lot of support from people on Wixom Lake and Sanford Lake. We're happy to see it stay here and anxious to see it rebuild. That's all. That's all good. So when you get it all moved back home, uh, what's the first thing you're going to tackle? Um, probably this is get this this done, and that way the axles can get done, and this carriage can be put together, and it can be put out in my lean-to, and then we can start on the center section. And like I said, then this spring is bring this part back, and at least we've got hopefully have something of a crane for people to look at. Yeah, I guess you kind of need to start with uh, the bottom up and, yep. and the wheels and yeah, the, the main carriage, so that makes sense. So, but we'll, we'll start digging at her and get her sandblasted up and get back out to see Bob, get some more pictures of his, and then Coax come along so he can get his done for the show Yeah, for next year. All right, well, we're going to wrap the video up. I really appreciate uh, Michael taking the time to give us a quick update on how things are progressing here with the shovel. And make sure you stay tuned to both his channel and my channel, and you'll be catching the next future updates. And the next time we see this, maybe it'll be uh, somewhat put back together. In a color. Yes. <laughs> Different color than rust. Yes. <laughs> Till then, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.